As much as you try to get along with everybody and live in peace with them, not everyone will do the same with you. The Golden Rule states that you should treat others the way you would want to be treated by them. But not everyone is subject to this rule or principle. The result is that you have people who wish that you fail and something bad befalls you, who do not possess the power to change their thinking. But God can overturn their thoughts and plans, and for every evil they have wished concerning you, the reverse will happen for you. Do not get bothered when people think evil concerning you or plot your downfall. These are the exact people that will join in celebrating when God blesses you. Have you been mocked by people around you, your enemies especially? Do they whisper as you walk by, making funny faces? Do they revel in your current situation and make it a point to bring it to the notice of everyone around you? Are you beginning to wonder if their plans and wishes for your life are already coming to pass? You have to be reassured that God is for you and no matter the plans and the thoughts of the wicked ones concerning your life, it will not come to pass. Isaiah 7 verse 7 says, Thus says the Lord God, it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. God has said that the thoughts of the wicked ones concerning your life will not be fulfilled. Let them gather and wish you every bad thing. Let them even begin to plot your downfall. It does not matter because God is on your side, as the Bible says in Psalm 2 verse 4 through 5. He who sits in the heavens laughs, the Lord has them in derision and in supreme contempt he mocks them. 5. He speaks to them in his deep anger and troubles, terrifies and confounds them in his displeasure and fury. God will not only destroy their plans, he will see that you are blessed in the presence of those people that wish to see you fail. You will rise out of that problem that is facing you. You will come out shining and better than before. Have no fear. You cannot fail or become a victim because you are a champion always. And you will triumph over every situation that you are facing right now. Psalm 23 verse 5 says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My brimming cup runs over. God will not only see to it that the plans of your enemies fail, he will ensure that he blesses you right in their presence. Sometimes we pray the wrong prayers when we wish our enemies dead. As much as nobody wants to have enemies, they cannot be avoided either. This is the reality that we should come to terms with. There will be people out there who hate you for no just cause. Or it could be that they are simply envious of what you have. They are sadists, joy killers, and are full of evil imaginations continually. They might be people you know, or people you do not know. They could show their hatred openly, or be disguised as friends, when indeed they are wolves in sheep's clothing. Jeremiah 17 verse 9 says, The heart is deceitful above all things and it is exceedingly perverse and corrupt and severely mortally sick. Who can know it, perceive, understand, be acquainted with his own heart and mind? If you cannot even know your own mind so well, according to the scriptures, how are you supposed to know what others are thinking about? Whether they have declared their intentions openly or secretly, this is the word of God for you in Isaiah 8, Verse 10. Plan and plot all you want. Nothing will come of it. All your talk is mere talk, empty words, because when all is said and done, the last word is Emmanuel, God with us. You might be going through one problem or the other at the moment, and you can see people smiling at your misfortune. It can be so hard and painful to watch as people rejoice over your downfall and many at times. We are forced to ask God, why me? Will you not justify me in the presence of my enemies? Will you not fight my cause for me? Or what profit is there in serving God? 
As difficult as it might be, you need to see beyond their words, their plans, and their thoughts towards you. You have the upper hand here because you are in Christ. And when you are in Christ, you are seated in heavenly places far above principalities and powers, above the wagging tongues of people, above failures and shame, above every circumstance that seems to be your lot at the moment. Those that are laughing at you now will come to bow before you when they see what God is doing in your life. The sons of the prophet were watching for Elisha when it was time for Elijah to be taken up into heaven. They kept reminding him of the departure of his master. They thought he would be alone and desolate after Elijah had gone and were watching to see what would become of him. But see what happens in 2 Kings 2 verse 15. When the sons of the prophets who were watching at Jericho saw him, they said, The spirit of Elijah rests on Elisha. And they came to meet him and bowed themselves to the ground before him. When they saw the power that Elijah now carried, they bowed to him. They became his servants because he carried a greater grace upon his life. You will also see those who have wished your failure come to honor you. They will have no choice but to do so when they see God's blessings upon your life. Joseph had a dream that his brothers and parents would one day bow to him. And because of that, adding to the fact that he was his father's favorite, they hated him. Genesis 37, verse 4 through 5. But when his brothers saw that their father loved Joseph more than all of his brothers, they hated him and could not say peace and friendly greeting to him or speak feastily to him. 5. Now Joseph had a dream, and he told it to his brothers, and they hated him still more. One day, his father sent him on an errand to check the welfare of his brothers and bring him a report. Innocently, the young man went in search of his brothers, but when they saw him afar off, they planned to kill him. They hated him that much and wanted to see his dreams fail, but as God would have it, they ended up selling him into slavery. They did not know that they had only succeeded in helping him achieve God's plans for his life. The same people that had sold him to slavery and wished him dead came to bow before him later on. Genesis 42 verse 6 Now Joseph was the governor over the land, and he was who sold it to all the people of the land. And Joseph's half-brothers came and bowed themselves down before him with their faces to the ground. Do you see that? Those that want to see you fail or to see your end will eventually come to bow before you when God brings you to a position of honor and glory. Do not be concerned about what is going on around you and just follow God's plan and will for you. Do not bother about who is thinking what or planning what against you. You cannot fight your battles by yourself, neither can you be too careful. You cannot also expect everyone to love you or wish you good. People will take offense at you for just doing the right thing. In essence, these things cannot be avoided, but you can trust God to bring you out of every situation you happen to find yourself and load your life with so many blessings that your enemies will become confused, or better still, dumbfounded. Whatever they have planned against you will definitely work in your favor. Moreover, God can use those that want to see you fail to announce your glory and to honor you. Would that not be wonderful? We see this in the life of Haman and Mordecai man hated the Jew that sat at the gate of the palace and refused to bow to him like the others. And he not only planned the execution of Mordecai, but of all the Jews all over the various provinces. Little did he know that would be his undoing. While he was in the midst of carrying out his plan, he walked into the palace one day and the king sought his opinion on how to honor somebody whom the king had in mind. Being very pompous, he 
he thought that it had to be him. So he came up with the most flamboyant kind of honor he could think of. Then the king told him to do all he had said to Mordecai. Just imagine the shock and the shame he must have felt, but he had no choice but to obey the king's order. Forget about the problems you are facing now and be of good cheer. Those that have mocked you in the past will be the ones announcing your blessings to people around. People whom you have had to borrow from will begin to borrow from you. You will soon become a point of reference wherever you find yourself. You will be so blessed in everything that you do. And those that have wanted to see you fail will be a witness to God's blessings on your life. God is setting a table for you in the presence of your enemies.